Good morning. Our gathering hymn today is number 433. 433, I have loved you. 433. Our gathering hymn number 433, I have loved you. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have bought you and you are mine. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have bought you, and you are mine. Seek the face of the Lord, and long for him. He will bring you his light and his peace. I have I loved you. Today is the memorial of St. Stephen of Hungary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Dear brethren, in order to worthily celebrate the sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord have, Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth, Christ of mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord have, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant your church, we pray, Almighty God, that she may have St. Stephen of Hungary, who fostered her growth while a king on earth, as her glorious defender in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, her Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses went up from the plains of Moab to Mount Nebo, the headland of Pisgah, which faces Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land, Gilead, as far as Dan, all Naphtali, the land of Ephraim and Messiah, all the land of Judah, as far as the western sea, the Negeb, the circuit of the Jordan, with the lowlands at Jericho, city of palms, 
and as far as Zoar. The Lord then said to him, This is the land which I swore to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that I would give to their descendants. I have let you feast your eyes upon it, but you shall not cross over. So there, in the land of Moab, Moses, the servant of the Lord, died as the Lord had said, and as he was buried in a ravine opposite Beth Peor in the land of Moab. But to this day, no one knows the place of his burial. Moses was 120 years old when he died, yet his eyes were undimmed and his vigor unabated. For 30 days the children of Israel wept for Moses in the plains of Moab until they had completed the period of grief and mourning for Moses. Now Joshua, son of Nun, was filled with the spirit of wisdom since Moses had laid his hands upon him. And so the children of Israel gave him their obedience, thus carrying out the Lord's command to Moses. Since then, no prophet has arisen in Israel like Moses, whom the God knew face to face. He had no equal in all the signs and wonders the Lord sent him to perform in the land of Egypt against Pharaoh and all his servants and against all his land. And for the might and the terrifying power that Moses exhibited in the sight of all Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Blessed be God who filled my soul with fire. Blessed be God, God who filled my soul with, with fire. fire. Shout joyfully to God all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Proclaim his glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Blessed be God. Come and see the works of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Bless our God, you peoples, loudly sing his praise. Blessed be God, who filled my soul with fire. Hear now. All you who fear God, will I declare what he has done for me. When I appeal to him in words, praise was on the tip of my tongue. Blessed be God, and quailed my soul with fire. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have won over your brother. If he does not listen, take one or two others along with you, so that every fact may be established on the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell the church. If he refuses to listen even to the church, then treat him as you would a Gentile or a tax collector. Amen, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, amen, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything for which they are to pray, 
it shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. The Gospel of the Lord. As faithful disciples of the loving Lord, we have all the capacity to discern the very teachings of our Lord Jesus. In our gospel today, Jesus empowers his disciples that they are able to decide with authority and firmness about the things that God and Jesus himself has entrusted to them. What you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Jesus, therefore, designated all these charisms and gifts with his disciples when this is established for the sake of God's kingdom. Today we remember our saint of which we celebrate today, Stephen of Hungary. In his royal throne, he himself has believed in the Lord Jesus and in himself used his power in order to proclaim the good news and become a witness to Christian life. He evangelized some of his people and where in fact he himself was recognized as one of those saintly who are able to reach the throne. May St. Stephen in his witness continue to remind us also that we had been established and entrusted by the loving Lord of the many gifts, like in our gospel today, Jesus has practically given everything to his disciples. May we discern that in our privilege of power, we are still able to share the power and the word of God. Jesus points out steps towards reconciliation, dispensing with any sense of superiority and marked only by true concern for our brothers and sisters. Let us pray that we may gain back brothers and sisters in the Lord. May we remove the plank in our own eyes that we may see clearly in removing the speck in our brother's eyes, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. When we point out faults of others, may we do it with humility and true concern for them. May we not take it against others if they in turn point out our own faults, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. In essential things, may we have unity. In non-essentials, liberty. And in all things, charity. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayers. prayers. May husband and wife speak well of each other. Try to show their spouse's good side and not his or her weakness and, in, and faults. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. May we avoid the grave sin of slander, venting our resentment and envy, even in social media, causing damage that is hard to repair. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For Mary Donaldson, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all the names and petitions written in our book of prayers, we pray, Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. Silently we present our petitions to the Lord. We pray, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you willingly grant the prayers when we gather in your name. 
Let us thank you for your mercy by being merciful to others. Heal our wounded heart and fill it with your peace. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Our offertory hymn is number 533. 533, Taste and See. Taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, taste and see, taste and see the so the Lord of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall always be on my Brethren, my sacrifice and yours be it acceptable to God the Almighty Father. To the present oblation, the Lord, which we offer in commemoration of your blessed Stephen of Hungary, bestow on your faithful, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are pleased in the company of your saints and in the crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory to Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels and with the great multitude of saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of host, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, <coughs> Hosanna.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took the bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Barry, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember, also our brothers and sisters have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him in him, O God, the Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At a Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done, as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, I pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await a blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The body of Christ. 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 She goes to the sick and the homebound, and not only sacrament were celebrated, but also the word of God to suffer as well as the affection of this parish community. As for the price of those who need to visit and return, but now God's peace and blessing.
Let us pray. Mary Sacrament, we have received a Lord in commemoration of your blessed Stephen of Hungary. Sanctify our minds and hearts that we may merit to be made sharers in the divine nature to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let's now go in peace. The Mass has been offered. Thanks be to God. Our sending forth hymn is number 268. 268, all glory, Lord, and honor. All glory, Lord, and honor to you, Redeemer, He. The lips of children may sweet hosannas ring. You are the King of Israel and David's royal son. Now, when the Lord's name coming, our King and blessed one. All glory, Lord, and honor to you, Redeemer King, to whom the lips of children may sweet hosannas ring. The company of angels are praising you on high. And waters drawn with all things created make reply. Oh, glory, Lord, and honor to you, Redeemer King, to whom the lips of children may sweet walls on us ring. Put the book on the edge of the altar. If Andrew comes, we'll move it tomorrow. <laughs>